What is going on everybody? It is Droll Kyle Maney here, and welcome back to the second episode of the Let's Build. And uh, before we start, I just want to clear up a few things, because I think people might have been confused last episode. But just to, I'm just going to put this out there right now. This isn't supposed to be a tutorial. So if you're like following along, like, and I keep on changing things, it's because it's a Let's Build. That there's like a difference, so I'm, I'm, you could, you're free to follow along, but I will be changing things as I go, probably, and there may be some off-camera work, but, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to say about that, and, um, also, I guess before we start, uh, the topics that I'm gonna talk about, because I was asking you guys to leave me topics to talk about each episode, is what I'd like to see in Minecraft in future updates, and also... Uh, the other topic, I'm going to do two topics, is um, who are my favorite YouTubers and who inspire me the most. So, um, yeah. So to answer the first question about um, future updates of Minecraft, uh, if you haven't noticed already, Minecraft kind of like, or well, 4J Studios, they kind of do, they just like copy the PC updates pretty much so what I'm expecting in the next update is most likely something like stained glass um, and I think new biomes too like the um, I, I forgot like the roofed forests um, what other biomes the flower ones like there's a bunch of new biomes that are on PC I don't I can't think of their names offhand, but uh, there's a decent amount, and they're all pretty cool, so I think those would be really awesome to have in Minecraft now. Um, Alright, hold on, how did I have this before? Um, so I think that would be pretty interesting, as well as, I'm just trying to figure something out real quick. This, this, this isn't how it's supposed to be right now. Uh, how did I have this? something like that. Yeah, so I'm expecting that to be in the future of Minecraft. Um, and I'm pretty excited about seeing like new biomes and things like that, because I like the biomes on PC a lot. Um, they're really cool. And that's what I'd expect to see in the next update. Now... Also, things that I'd like to see, but I doubt will happen, is things like servers, kind of, or something like that. So, like, if I was on Xbox, because I'm usually host of the world, I'm, I was host of the Cribcraft world, and we always ran into the problem when I wasn't on or something, and everybody wanted to play, and it, it's just kind of, it's just kind of a headache, because... Like, people will be wanting to play, they'll be like, oh, let's go in the world, and I'm like, oh, I'm kind of busy, or I'm doing something else, maybe I don't want to play, and it, it, it would help if the world was just, like, open to all my friends, and then also you could do things like subscriber worlds, so I could have worlds open if, like, our subscribers wanted to go build or something, and it would, it would just be a really awesome feature, but I honestly don't see that ever happening. Another thing though, that I think shouldn't be that difficult to add, but I don't know if it'll ever be added, is things like custom texture packs. So I'm sure, like, honestly, it's probably not that difficult for them to set up something where there's a website, and you can kind of, like, at least, like, at least mix up blocks from other texture packs. And even if they charged for this, it would be, like, worth the money, because you could make your own custom texture packs, and then maybe you could have, like, releases for that texture pack, kind of like how PC does it. Like, how people will release their PC texture packs and things like that. So, I think that would be a really awesome, uh, th uh, thing to add. I don't know exactly how they'd go about it if they were to add it, and I'm not the best person to ask, because... I don't know how to develop a game or anything like that, so maybe it wouldn't be easy, but I think it'd be a fantastic addition to Minecraft, and people would really enjoy that if there could be like things like custom texture packs. 
Because let's face it, I mean, for people that like building, there's a few texture packs that can really work well for, at least for like, modern building like this, kind of like building cities and whatnot, which is pretty popular on uh, 360, but I feel like 4J doesn't acknowledge it too much. Like, they made the city texture pack and the natural texture pack, which, I mean, I'm sure natural wasn't really intended for building purposes. And you know what? That's going to bother me if that's not at the same area, so I'm going to just line these up. Um, so, uh, that's things I'd really like to see in the future of Minecraft. Do I see it happening? Not really. I really doubt it. I mean... I don't want to say anything bad about 4J, but I don't see it happening, unfortunately. But I won't lose fate. Those are things I'd like to add, be added. As for the like new um, biomes, though, I could definitely see that in the near future, or whenever the next update may be. Uh, I do believe that that will eventually be added. So, that's something to look forward to. I'm sure they'll add that uh, soon enough. You know what might be cool? I wonder if I could like make a little thing that kind of juts out right here. That might look interesting. Um, I got. I, I should find a center before I start doing that, though. So right here. We're also gonna have the same thing. Another window right here. Actually, it should be on this level though. So uh, I guess we'll move on to the next question, which are who are my YouTube inspirations? So, um, you might be surprised, but I don't really watch building videos or anything like that. I used to watch them a little bit, but I was never really huge into building videos. I've always been a huge fan of people that do, like, Let's Plays and things like that. And the one channel that I watch the most, um, as of right now, is Vanoss Gaming, and I love his channel. He's a really good youtuber like he his editing's so good and everything and he's someone i like who's a huge inspiration to me on youtube as well as kart uh speedy and his crew and vanos's friends too I, are they're all really like talented youtubers um obviously when it comes to building there's like two people that i watch and that's dan as you guys know, I'm sure you all know Dan, because we're in his videos, and a lot of people, I feel, came from Dan's channel. They found us through Dan, so Dan lags, if you don't know who I'm talking about, that's who. Um, and also, Corrales is a fantastic builder, but I haven't watched Corrales in a really long time, <laughs> so I don't know what his channel's up to, but he's a really funny guy, too. I like his accent. He has a really cool accent. I mean, it, it isn't as um, noticeable as it used to be, but uh, he does have a pretty cool accent, so this also has to be one, two, three, four, so this one will be right here. I don't know how this will look if I make something kind of like sticking out, if you know what I mean, right like around here. It might look interesting, kind of make like a little trying to think how that would look. Like a little thing kind of sticking out. And those are my only YouTube inspirations. I kind of lost track that I was uh, still talking about a question. Um, I also like to watch um, other people. I used to really love Rooster Teeth. I haven't watched them in a while. It's kind of like you... I, I go in cycles and people I watch on YouTube... Like, I'll non-stop watch someone, like, a, a few channels for a while, and then, I guess, it's not that I don't like the channel anymore, it's just that I kind of stop watching it, and then I usually go back to that channel after a while. But, um, another channel, which is really weird, uh, and my, my phone's ringing, I'm just gonna ignore that for now. <laughs> um, another channel I been watching a lot is called Filthy Frank, but that one's a weird channel. Some of his videos are a bit out there, but he's he's a really funny person. 
It, he's kind of an offensive person, though. So, if you get offended easily, I don't recommend watching him. And crap, I forgot to go to... I forgot to turn off Daylight Cycle. My bad. But yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, pretty funny, too. Huh. Do I like... I'm trying to think if I like how that looks. I don't, I don't think it looks bad, but I don't know if I like it or not, to be honest. I'm going to kind of just... I don't know. I'm just going to leave it there for now. I might change this to a different block. Oops. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's about it for my YouTube inspirations. But a pretty cool thing is I actually met um, a few of these people that I love watching. Because when I went to PAX East in um, April, I met some of them. So I met uh, Speedy, Nobody Epic, Jehovah, Legion... Um, is there anybody else from Speedy's crew that I met? I met, I, I met like four or five of the crew members, which was awesome. Because they, I've been watching them for so long. Since like, I don't even know how long. Like o over three years probably though. So when I met them, I was like ecstatic. I was uh, really happy. And some of you may think that's weird. But uh, if like... For them, for me, it's, they're like a huge inspiration for me. I don't know if any of you also watch Speedy and his crew, but I've been watching them for a really long time, and I really enjoy their videos. They're just like a perfect group. Like, not, well, not perfect, but you know what I mean? And that's kind of also um, what, what wanted me to do like a team, kind of, if you know what I mean? Because the team is a bunch of close friends of ours. And, um, it, I just thought it's really fun when you are you do videos together with people you're comfortable with, people that you already play with all the time. So, when I started YouTube, that, or, well, when we started YouTube, that's, like, kind of, I, I feel like, I, I feel like it drove a few of us, like, some of us may not have looked at it that way, because I don't know, I, I'm, I know me and Matt, we're like the only two that watched like Speedy when we started, I believe, and then I think Kevin get, gr like started, and um, obviously you you guys know Kevin's not on the team anymore, but we still have good relations with Kevin and Bubba and whatnot, which we are already explained. But um, yeah, oh crap, that's not right. Crap, I need to fix that. Um, what did I do wrong here? Wait, hold on. This has to... I guess I gotta turn this here. That's gonna kind of look a little weird, but... Oh well. Um... Yeah, I want these to be even. On this. Uh, it kind of looks a little strange, but we'll work with that for now. Alright. And this is going to be built up a little bit, too. This has to go a little higher. I'm just going to kind of lay that out. And I'm going to turn off Daylight Cycle now. Before I forget again. But yeah, that kind of sums up the um, questions. And as always, remember to leave a, uh, questions for the next episode. I like, uh, I like to answer these questions. And it also kind of helps you guys to get to know me a little better. If you don't really know too much about me. So, uh, yeah, feel free to leave your questions if you're curious about anything. I'd love to answer them. And, yeah. I guess for the rest of this video, I'm just going to focus on the building and tell you guys what I'm thinking. So, honestly, I never planned the interior, really. Like, I, I plan the interior in my mind, but I don't actually lay out the rooms. I don't know. It's like, I don't... I don't like to build that way on Minecraft, so that's kind of, I don't really do it that way. I know some people do like to build like that though, but that's just not my, uh, that's not my style of building, I guess. So. Also, uh, I want to apologize for, uh, such a long wait for the second episode of this. I didn't mean to 
um, takes so much time between the episodes, but I kind of got busy with, um, some stuff, well, like, some, I, I, I was busy with, like, school and whatnot, so I didn't really have a chance to, um, record much, and what I did, I just was, like, recording on the weekends, and I'd get, like, a video or something, and then I'd edit it or whatnot. This video doesn't require too much editing, but that, um, if any of you watched my latest survival games video, which I, I really enjoyed making that video, those are videos I really enjoy making. I like doing the building stuff as well, but, um, my favorite types of videos to make are, like, Let's Play videos, and I plan on eventually doing that a lot more often than I do now. Um, because those are, that, like I said, my biggest inspirations are, like, Let's Players. But I don't plan on stopping, like, creative content as long as people are still watching and whatnot. But I'm liking how this is looking now. I don't know if I, I should probably add, I don't know if I should add a window here or not. I, I think it, I think I definitely should because it kind of looks plain. Or I should add something. Maybe I could add, like, a little garden here. Because sometimes you kind of add, like, useless windows, and they don't work well in the interior. I'm definitely going to add one here, though. Um, definitely a window here. Actually, let me lay that out and stop breaking that same block. So that's the middle right there, I think. Yeah, that's the middle. Just do a window like we've been doing. And, um, to update you all, because <laughs> last episode I was, like, talking about watching anime. In case any of you were interested, I, um, still am enjoying it. Um, I just finished Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Whew, that was a good one. But it's, like, hard to, for me to pick a favorite, because I like so many. So many of them, like, I can't really pick one that I like the most. Like, I also, um, took a few suggestions from some people, like, um, I still haven't looked at all the suggestions, because there was some I really wanted to watch, but, uh, one, one short one that I watched that was really good was Akame Ga Kill, and that was requested by Sushi, so Sushi, if you're watching that, I did check that, uh, that, that, um, show out, and I really liked it. That's definitely one of those ones that I can't decide which is my favorite. Like, that one's in that list. Um, I'm trying to think of any... That looks really stupid. Um, I'm trying to think of any other ones I watched. I'm trying to think how I could lay this out where this doesn't look dumb. Maybe if I just, like, put something there. No, wait. Eh. I feel like this just looks weird. Like that. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna probably change that up at one point. Or another. Um, how long have we been going? 18 minutes? Almost. I don't want to make the videos too long because my computer takes a long time to render videos. Or, well, my laptop does. It's not very efficient at rendering because it's a, it's a pretty old laptop. So it's, it's not the, it's not the, uh, fastest laptop. I don't use it to game at all, I, I game on my desktop. So I'm just gonna kinda lay out this wall and then I'll finish up the video. Um, I didn't really lay out anything before this video, so I was kinda just going, um, like, going through it, through things I thought looked good. And what I've been thinking, well, I didn't like thinking it out and lay it out, but I, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking like, I'm rambling right now. I thought it out, but I didn't, like, actually build it to see how it looks, so I was just building my thoughts pretty much in this episode. If you guys have any suggestions, though, for what can make this possibly look better, feel free to leave them. Um, for instance, right here, I, I definitely need to change this up, because this just looks dumb. But I don't know if I should raise the window or not, because then I'd have to, like, raise this area, and it'd be, like, at a different level than other areas of the house, so it might be be a little weird, especially since it's right next to the garage, and this is going to have to be on this level, 
So this is already going to have to be a lowered area. What I could do though is, because garages usually have windows that you can't see out of, so maybe I could make it a smaller window and make it higher up. I think that might look interesting. So I think that's what I'll probably do. But anybody, uh, anyway guys, uh, I'm going to end off the episode there. So I hope you all enjoyed uh, episode 2 of the Let's Build. Still got some work to do on the house, still got some things to figure out. Um, remember to leave your uh, questions for the next episode. I would like to answer some more. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll talk to you all later. Peace out.